This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So uh, it comes out uh, ahead of time in the torch from one of the sets of TV tapings that, well, let's let Wade describe it. Roxy was released by the company recently following a backstage incident with Rocka Khan, who has major heat in the locker room for some of her behavior. Khan was upset over her role in a recent battle Royal that aired on TNA impact. She eventually hit Roxy with a stiff shot during their match. And Roxy returned fire with a forearm that caught Khan on the nose. Khan dropped to her knees and screamed in pain and frustration in a clip that was edited off of the impact show. When Khan returned backstage, she threw a hissy fit and said she was willing to fight other knockouts legitimately. She also told her then boyfriend, Kurt Angle, that the other knockouts had been stealing her clothing and had either stolen or destroyed her computer. Multiple sources laugh at Khan's claims, and the feeling was that more than one person with more than one person is she made up all these allegations because she wanted Kurt to purchase her new clothes and a new computer. When Roxy returned backstage, she tried to make amends and Khan wasn't interested in making peace. They ended up exchanging words and eventually cooler heads prevailed. However, both women were not booked after the incident and apparently were suspended for 60 days. Although Roxy has told friends, she's not aware she's been suspended. Roxy was eventually released by the company and her contract was coming up soon. The belief is that she had already worked enough dates and the company doesn't owe her money. What do you remember of this? Because it's rare that we hear about things getting real in the ring and it's spilling over backstage, but it's gotta be just a pain in the ass. If you're trying to run a show like this, you said it best right there. I do remember kind of this incident, but really just kind of the, the whole broad stretch of, and, and I remember circling back to Dutch because Dutch was probably the first one, maybe not basically saying, Hey Jeff, we're going to have an issue here, man. I, I just hear the room because he worked with the knockouts a lot. So he's like, you just overhear everything and everything kind of circles back to, we got a bad apple. We, we're, we're having issues. And I just like, okay, that's cool. And again, I'm dealing with Mick and home and marketing and Dallas and oh, it is what it is. And then another person and then another person. And after, I don't know, seven, eight folks had come to me and I just said, Dutch, my God, you are spot on. He said, yeah, it, it's an issue. So when that kind of went down, obviously I'm running point. They come to me and I just said, Hey, I, I y'all can't tell me that he said, she said exactly what happened. If a shot, uh, if there was some type of shoot went on in the ring at the end of the day, or either one of them integral to our storylines, I'm going to answer that. No, L let's, let's not pick fight. Let's not pick a side. Let's not choose side. Let's just put both of them on the shelf. It, it was a real issue for a short period of time, but it went away. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.